Hey, John at Witch Doctors. I'm going to show you something that I see a lot of people asking about all the time. This is a shift rod on a Victory. Indian's kind of the same thing, but you have a left and a right hind joint. And people say, how do I know the difference? What does that even mean? So I'll run through this real quick. The heim joint is, is this part on the end, okay? This is the heim joint part. This is the jam nut, okay? So the one way you can tell left and right, and what that means is when you screw a bolt on normal, okay, you would screw it this way, like they say righty, okay, you would screw it to the right clockwise, and that usually screws your bolt on, um, you know, any, any bolt application is that. When you screw it, you, you screw the nut and bolt together, okay? On a left hand, it's actually the opposite. So if I screw this this way to the right, you can see it's backing off. It's, it's going the reverse direction, and it actually comes off. If I went to screw this on like normal, it's not going to go. So you have to screw it the other way. Okay, so you screw a left hand threaded uh, nut, bolt, part, whatever. You screw that counterclockwise to get it to go on. So when you're looking at it and you can't get these nuts loose and a lot of guys what they do is, is this will be like this. This will be together. They put their wrench on here and they're trying to turn it and it won't loosen up. Okay. Well that's because you're going the wrong way like I just showed you. And the way you can tell is if you look right here. I'll get something to show you. Right here. This little groove on the heim joint right here. That's a left hand heim joint. All heim joints have some sort of a mark on them, whether it's a dot, usually it's a groove, they might have a little L to tell you. So if you see that has the groove, that means that's the left hand side. And if you look at this one, there's no groove. So that's the normal side or the right side. So the reason they do that is when this is on the bike and you want to adjust it and you turn this, it's going to turn, one is going to go out and the other one's going to go out. Okay, if they were both the same thread, one would tighten up and the other one would go the other way. So you need a left and right hand thread. It's the same as tie rods on a car. A lot of linkages are this way. So you can adjust it like this, you know, to get your, your lever, your shift lever, uh, wherever you want it on height. But make sure you know that and just pay attention to that little line. And remember, you have to go the other way to loosen it up. So see that way, like I said. Tightening it up is counterclockwise, and loosening it is clockwise. So it's the opposite of a right-hand thread. So hopefully um, that helps you out a little bit when you're messing with something like this. You don't want to break your uh, the rod or anything because you're going the wrong way or strip it out or anything like that. So just keep that in mind whenever you're messing with something like that. Thanks for watching.